Oh, I just thought we should sit here at the main menu and just enjoy the music just for a few seconds. It's fantastic. Okay, let's get back into the game, folks. As we load up Never Tales, Smoke and Mirrors, I'm your Gibbs, and we are... We're here. We just arrived at some sort of fantasy town here. And that most certainly looks like an evil queen. Queen of Hearts. And we have here, in terms of inventory, we've got gears. is all busted up. We've got this cane here, a coin, a set of tools, and a door handle. So that's going to come in handy at some point. Looks like we're going to have to fix gears in order to get up there, huh? Now, it said here that we needed a screwdriver, which we don't have, unfortunately. Now, we do have a door handle. Oh, look, we can go back here. Maybe. Let's go to the wine ski yards. Ooh. There's our collectible. So this looks like a... Like, I don't know, like a villagey area here. Does that make any sense? Like, you've got a sewing person, you've got, like, a blacksmith. Not a villagey area. What the heck am I trying to say? Like a marketplace, maybe? Maybe. Anyways, looks like we're going to have to do some sewing. And maybe some blacksmithing? That would be cool. Oh, i got to drag this. Okay. Ha ha ha! I love it. Take a picture of my tablet? That is so cool. Oh, what's this? A map! Ah, oh, nifty. We're going to be repairing gears. Come on, gears. Poor fella. Oh, look at his eyeballs all busted. Do we need tools too? Yes, we do. So, let's get that eyeball out of there. So we still need to get some more stuff, which we'll do in just a moment. But let's have a look at our map here. Such a neat looking map. Okay, so here's the current location. And sparkly means we've got stuff to do. Let's go. Fast travel. Go. A belt. So I'm not sure why we need a belt. Uh, so what else can I do here? Well, I can't go backwards, so that's something. All right, well, let's see what we can do here. That's my parents' house. I have to lower the bridge. So I think we're going to need gears for that, aren't we? I think so. So I don't think a belt's gonna help me here. No. Oh, the coin will though. Aha! Good old coin screwdriver trick. I think uh, these screws and this is gonna be a lovely eyeball for our buddy Gears. Let's go and help him out here. There you go. Let's do it. Yeah, wrench it up. Uh, what else can we do? There's nothing to magnify at this point. Let's put his eyeball back in play. I think we're going to have to fix his head here, his brain. Now can we do it? Ooh, okay, his heart. Seems to be some damage here, but I better look more closely. Wires. Uh. Oh, I see. We gotta put the wire there. Green, yellow, and red. Put that back on. I fixed all the parts, now I need to reboot gears with the correct switch sequence. Good old brute force will help us out here. Doo -doo -doo. Yay, gears is back together again, yay. Come with me, little buddy. Thank you, Alice. I feel as white as rain. Now, we must act quickly. Why is Rain right? Your father was imprisoned and sentenced to death by the Queen. She's no longer the kind ruler she once was. 
Your mother sent me to fetch you. She left clues for you in our family home. <laughs> All right, Gears. Let's do this. Some locations are too high to reach. Your owl friend, Gears, can reach them. All right, Gears. Get up there, buddy. Take whatever that is. More money. Oh, I don't get to keep the money. <laughs> You're so helpful, Gears. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we have a belt buckle and a belt without a buckle. Okay. Well, the arrow, I'm pretty sure Gears can get. There we go. Thank you. So now we have this. It's an arrowhead. I think Gears might be able to do this. Yeah, there you go, buddy. Aha! Do some repairs, Gears. Need to fi fix the buckle? Handle? Okay. Okay, so that's not gonna work. Oh, I see. A broken crank. that on there. Oh no, it doesn't fit the hole? What? Alright. Need to figure out what to do there. I don't think this will help, will it? Oh, it will too. Ah, wow, that is some sharp edges there. Works like a charm though. Much better. Okay, let's put the crank there then. I don't know how I'm supposed to fix the belt because there's no plus on them either of those, but I'm sure we'll figure it out eventually. Maybe I have to go back to the workbench? Nope. Oh, I can stitch it on, I think. Yeah, there we go. What are... Oh, we're doing a puzzle. Oh, wow, we're doing some fancy designs here. Do, do, do. Let's do that one and that one. And then that one. That should hold just nicely. Alright, Gears, let's go and put that belt back. Fly over there, and we have our new fancy pants. Oh, I got a do it up first. Okay. Now I'm gonna go back there, put the belt on. Crank it up. Yay. Well, let's go to the cottage. Was there no collectible here? No, it doesn't look like it. It's Argo! Traitor! Oh, there's the collectible. My dad isn't a traitor, he's the most honorable man I know. Argos guards the key. Argo. Let's see here, his bowl is empty. Well, that's just unfortunate, isn't it? Something. Oh, it's some glitter. So I got myself a little hat, it looks like. Wooden hat, wooden mouse, and some glitter. Let's go. Mm. Uh, let's see here. Do we have to peel a banana? Ooh, hello, crowbar. Will we get to see you ever again? Uh, what am I looking for here now? Nothing, apparently. Where am I supposed to put these flowers? I see them all. I'll maybe put them here. That won't work. They are shaped like flowers, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do with them. Dig them up. And now I got more goodies in here. Oh, there's some dog food. Do I have to put them down here? Oh, wow. Okay, cool. Didn't know that. And 
there's the last one right there. Now we're... Now we're in business. A bullet is in here. And a feather. So where's the sun? A dibbler? I don't even know what a dibbler is. Oh, there's the sun there. What the heck is a dibbler? That apparently is a dibbler. <laughs> I had no idea. Then I'll cut the sack open. Angel, five, and a pear. Mmm, that looks like a juicy pear, too. Some dog treats for our friend Argo. Here you go, buddy. <laughs> Nicely done. Alright, let's get into our parents' cottage here. Oh no, someone ransacked the whole house! Hey, this looks familiar. This is definitely from the second game. Ooh, math! Something divided something, something, something. So, where is that collectible? Oh, right there. We can go into the family library. Let's go. Ooh, glass slipper. Oh, we have all this stuff. Oh, no, not quite all of it. But there's definitely an Alice in Wonderland theme to this game, for sure. Mad Hatter's hat. More math. Collecting all the math formulas. Ladder. Hmm, parts of the page are missing. Maybe they're around here somewhere. Maybe. Teacup. So, well, let's put this back here and see what happens. Oh, there's the piece of paper we wanted. And more code. Oh, <laughs> sparkles. All right, cool. I can deal with that. I still want the glass slipper, though. Oh boy. Ah. Uh, interesting. That one we need. And that one we need. Wow, we're retelling the last game. Neat, neat, neat. This is like an astronaut. What's going on here? Oh, the baby! The baby was from the first one. Yay. I really enjoyed that game, actually. The first Never Tales was probably one of my all-time favorite games, actually, of all time. So I really enjoyed that game. I mean, the second game was cool and all. I just, I don't know. I, the first one was what started it all for me. It uh, certainly for me felt like a huge uh, change in the Hopa genre, like just everything about that first ever Tales game was a huge leap forward, in my mind anyways. The story, the, the art, the puzzles, and it's fantastic. Like I'm playing this game right now at 1080p, which, you know, for those of that are familiar with resolutions in, in these kinds of games uh, th there's lots of games that don't actually output at this resolution so it's kind of clever that they've got this all at high resolution all right well you know what we've got some math here that's kind of cool we've got our map we are in tail world and I want to change my yeah my tablet wallpaper how many of you actually change your tablet wallpaper all the time? <laughs> I think I have the same wallpaper on my iPad for like ever. <laughs> Why change? But I know some people like change it with the weather, or change it just on a whim and all that kind of stuff, so. Alrighty then, so this I do recall being a bit challenging. 
So... So I'm not sure. Yeah, this is definitely going to be something. Because I'm pretty sure it has to look like this. So that one there needs to go. Let's see. Nope. Okay, maybe it's a mirror image? I don't even know. Alright, let's see what this does. Oh, you know what? I bet you that's the one that has to go up there. Okay, that's starting to look pretty good, but I'm going to have to move this one, I think. Wait. No, that doesn't look right at all. Alright, well, let's go here. Nope. So I don't know what I've done here, but... Oh, never mind, I did it. <laughs> I thought I screwed up, but I did not. It's all part of the plan. Let's go to Alice's room. My room, what a mess. Who did this? Good question. More math, yay. I remember using the telescope to stargaze with Dad. The view is spectacular. Ooh, it's a mirror. And then we got some math here. Where did my snail go? Uh, I don't know. Where did your snail go? All the math here. I have a feeling that we're going to be coming up with a crazy math puzzle soon. Mom's box is so dusty. Give me the correct time and I will open. My tablet is set on home time. Okay. Wow. How am I supposed to know this? Oh, I see. If I knew the time. We're going to have to look over here, aren't we? I should reposition the telescope to see the clock tower. Where is it? Now I gotta focus. Oh. There's the time. I'll make a note on my tablet. Looks like it's 4 30. Let's have a look at what that means. So, 4 30. So, with that, like, what I don't know is, do I have to put, I don't know, what was I going to say, do I have to put this, because there's four digits, hmm, so that would be, in theory it'd be 16, so that one and then that one, now let's see here, 30, so that looks like picnic bench. Okay, well, I guess we did it. So we did have to put 1630. Once upon a time, there lived a benevolent queen. She was as kind as she was beautiful, and she ruled with compassion and wisdom. The queen of hearts. So we need to find one more tie. Nice dress. Her kingdom was one of the finest in all of Tail World, consisting of many realms called Book Worlds. Okay. One there. Where's the next one? Enjoy the music as we look for whatever that is. Come on, Gabe, give it up. That's going to definitely be something, isn't it? Uh... Hint. Oh, wow. Okay, that was... The queen's heart was so full of love for her subjects that a heart became part of her coat of arms. Her loyal soldiers wore the heart proudly on their armors and flags. 
Here we go. Thus, she came to be known as the Queen of Hearts. But one day, everything changed. The queen oh, no. shut herself in the castle and closed the gates. No, don't do that. No one saw her for days, and no one knew why she had disappeared. The people still believed in her and hoped for the best. But soon, whispers of a mysterious new advisor began to spread through the kingdom. He was the only one allowed to visit the queen. All the people could do was hope that their beloved queen was well and that she knew what she was doing. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Why did it do that? There we go. That's what we needed. We need that piece right there. So what is this? That's our snail. All right, well, we'll have to see what we have to do with that in the next video. Thank you all for watching.